What's up guys, John here from the Reaper blog. You may have heard that MP3 is dead. Actually, the patents have expired on MP3. And with the announcement that that was happening, Fraunhofer, the company that owned the patent, actually recommended that people use AAC or other formats that have better quality. We're not gonna see MP3 go away for a long time. Uh, we might even see an increase of use now that it's a little bit easier. It can be distributed and compiled right in with programs instead of having to be an extra download like we've been seeing with Reaper for a long time, things like that. So this video is going to be about how to make an AAC file, which gives you better sound quality for the same bit rate. It's a very good format and it's a format that we can render directly to through Reaper as long as we're on a Mac. This function is only going to be available on the Mac operating system. It's one of the encoders built into the operating system that Reaper can access. So at this time, uh, I can only show you on the Mac. Like any project, we're going to render our entire project or time selection. I'm gonna choose a location. I've got this going to the desktop. I've got my project wildcard, so I was just gonna name it, whatever the project's called. We choose our sample rate. We choose how many channels the render speed. Then we're going to go down to the output format. Let's zoom in here. We want to change this to MPEG-4 MOV, as this says here, Mac OS 10.7 plus AV Foundation. And AV Foundation is the encoder that Reaper uses. It's built into OS 10. So let's click that. And format, instead of this format, which is the format that I use for rendering videos, choose MPEG-4 audio. And now we see audio codec AAC. No video codec here. The size and frame rate options are going to be ignored. We just need to change this to a suitable bit rate. 128 kilobit, still a little low. You have to do some testing to see what is acceptable. 256 and 320 are very common bit rates for MP3. So we're gonna do something similar and do 256 for AAC. I'm gonna render that, it's gonna take a minute, and that's it. That's how you do it. If you're on Windows and you wanna export an AAC, you're going to have to go through another program. You can export a wave and then open it up in iTunes and convert it through there. There are other programs, but uh, I think the iTunes way is probably one of the easiest. And that's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, support on Patreon, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.